Ladies and gentlemen, one thing I can honestly say, those of you that have been following me for quite some time know I hate politicians. It don't matter if they're on the left or on the right. I hate politicians because to me, a politician is nothing but a legalized crook. That's all they are. They steal, they lie, and they do a lot of underhanded things. They do money laundering and everything else. But the only thing is they're legal, but they are crooks. Every last one of them. It don't matter if they got skin that looks like Mitch McConnell or Obama. They are crooks. And that's how I feel about them. This came out in the Washington Post, July 9th, 2019. Now, it's been revealed that Mitch McConnell comes from a family, both his mother and father's side, uh, were slave owners. So his rebuttal was to come out and talk about Obama's as the, a descendant of slave owners. And he's right. He's right about that. But this is what he failed to tell you. Now, we know Obama is of a mixed background. Those slave owners in Obama's family look just like Mitch McConnell. They didn't look like Obama back then. The mother side of the family is just as white as Mitch McConnell, and they were the ones that had slaves. Now, Obama's mom, her lineage goes all the way back to Jefferson Davis. So he's related to Jefferson Davis. Obama is not like your average person in the black community who were the actual descendants of those slaves. Obama's family did not go through slavery. So it's why he don't connect with the black community. Obama has never connected with the black community other than for votes. Other than that, he sat in office for two terms and did absolutely nothing for the black community and many in the community got behind him. Now I got turned off by Obama by the time he was two years into his first term. I stopped paying attention to Obama and I realized he was not gonna do anything at all for the black community. Some of our people it took two terms of him not doing anything for them to really get it. But I laugh because trolls will come over here and they'll make references to Obama. Like I'm going to respond back and defend Obama. I'm not going to do none of the above. And usually I'll just block you. I'm not going to get into no back and forth over Obama somebody I don't even like. What am I going to go back and forth over Obama for? And I've told you I don't like Obama. That's stupid. But I guess those high IQs just don't stretch far enough. So ladies and gentlemen, Mitch McConnell think he vindicated himself by comparing himself to Obama. And in my opinion, you just raise the fact that all of those people in your family and Obama family that were white were all slave owners. That's the only thing you brought to light to me. You just said you just shed more light on the fact that white people heavily had slaves in this country. Now, it would be a big deal if you found the Kenyan father had a bunch of slaves. OK. <laughs> That might have made a bigger impact, but the fact that slaves were on Obama's white mother's side and they were just as white as those people in your family, I don't think that made a big impact, Mitch McConnell. But let's go, let's go with what you're trying to say. Let's just bring out more. So we know Mitch McConnell's mother and father had a total of 14 slaves, according to the 19th century census record. And 
Mitch McConnell, who claimed he was going to make Obama uh, only a one-term president, I don't know why you didn't deliver on that, Mitch McConnell. But then again, like I said, all politicians are crooks. So he is now comparing himself to Obama, and we know Obama opposed uh, reparations. And I'm going to get to what he said because what Obama said in return, you know, in terms of reparations is a load of bullshit. So let's get into this. We already know what Mitch McConnell said as far as um, reparations. And he's talking about for something that happened 150 years ago. Really? How come y'all still enforce laws on your books that even predates 150 years ago? And you're still carrying those laws out now you still go by your constitution. I guess when it's convenient, you go by your constitution and your constitution predates 150 years. So if we go according to what you're saying, Mitch McConnell, shouldn't we be throwing out everything from 150 years ago? But I know we, we you know, whatever. So I just find that laughable right there. And then, um, you know, people bring up the civil war. Ladies and gentlemen, these white people didn't fight that civil war alone. Let's just get this all out in the open. Black people fought for the Confederacy and black people fought for the Union. And there's a lot involved in that, y'all. First of all, most of those black men that fought for the Confederacy, they were kidnapped and forced to fight on the Confederate side. And then there were blacks that joined the Civil War and fought for the Union. White people did not fight that war on their own. If we are gonna celebrate soldiers, why wouldn't we celebrate those black soldiers that put their lives on the line for America? <laughs> Seriously, why would we not do that? But the bottom line is they didn't do us any favors because black men fought on both sides of the Civil War. OK, never let them get away with talking about the Civil War without you pointing that fact out. They didn't fight any war by themselves, ladies and gentlemen, not even for their own independence. They needed black help to even win their freedom. So, no, you don't get to pat yourself on the back talking about the Civil War as if nobody was in that war but white people. <laughs> yeah, right. So anyway, um, Obama's mother, who is just as white as Mitch McConnell, can be traced back to the Confederate president, Jefferson Davis. So Obama is related to Jefferson Davis. And Michelle Obama had ancestors that fought for the Confederacy. Exactly. And ladies and gentlemen, there are all kinds of photos out there showing black soldiers dressed in Confederate uniform and black soldiers dressed for the damn union. OK, so get off of this mess about the Civil War. You didn't do us no favor if we fought in the damn war. You didn't do us any favor. Let's just get that straight. Um, all right. So in 2007, a genealogist traced Barack Obama's roots and discovered two slave owners on his maternal ancestry. OK, so the mother side, the white side of the family. Again, all this does is bring out the fact that there were a lot of white slave owners. <laughs> Mitch McConnell, that's all, that's all you're really shedding light on. You're just shedding light on the fact that there were a lot of white slave owners. Those slave owner, the slave owners in Obama's family look just like the slave owners in your family. All right. So this came out and, you know, I want to go down to right here. Okay. It's a true measure of progress that a descendant of a slave owner would marry a student from Kenya 
and produce a son who would grow up to be a candidate for president of the United States, Burton said. You know, it makes me wonder, you know, Mitch McConnell came from a family of slave owners and he still acts like one. But Obama's mom, she wouldn't even touch a man that looked like Mitch McConnell. <laughs> she ran after anything that had melanin in its skin. <laughs> That's what she... <laughs> Woo, you, you have to wonder what went wrong in this woman's family for her to trace, you know, to chase after anything other than a white man. <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> Mitch McConnell, thank you for bringing this up because this shit is fun. Okay. So the former president, Obama, is also a descendant of the first African slave in the American colonies. Genealogist website found in 2012 on his mother's side. Okay, so his mother's side, slavery can be traced all the way back to the first, you know, the American colonies. So it goes real, really, really, really far back. But then again, ladies and gentlemen, that shouldn't be shocking because a lot of what they call Jewish people had slaves. Okay, a lot of Jewish people had slaves and his mother was Jewish. All right, so let's get to what Obama said. Now, when he ran for president, in 2008, he opposed reparations for the descendants of slavery. And this is what he said, and this is just total bullshit. Because he worried they could be used as an excuse not to work on challenges of racial inequality in education, housing, and the workforce, which is a bullshit answer, y'all. When Obama came into office, there was already racial disparities that have gone on for hundreds of years. Education was poor. Housing is poor. And the workforce, there's still a lot of workplace discrimination. We still hear the stories about Black people being harassed on the job and nooses being put up. So we know that all still goes on. Now, when Obama left office, did any of this shit change? Hell no. Okay. His reasons are just complete bullshit. If you had reparations, it wouldn't matter about the racial disparities because the black community would be able to do for self. Education, we would have been able to fix education and housing and even create our own jobs if we had reparations. So reparations would have actually made all of these points that he brought up better for the Black community. So that being said, when Obama took office in 2008, all of that stuff existed and you damn right, it still existed when he left. So his presidency did not make a difference as far as clearing up any of those disparities at all. So how could Obama be our reparations? <laughs> I mean, I mean, really, what an insult. They really think that we're that stupid, y'all. You know, they really seriously do. So Obama focused on everything except for us. It's a fact. Democrats' thoughts on reparations have changed since then, with many of the 2020 presidential candidates coming out in support of some kind of reparation system for descendants of slaves. But you know what? That's not really true. That, that part of the article is false. Neither Democrats or Republicans are for reparations, because if they were, we would have heard a real plan by now. All we keep hearing is this program and that program. And yes, we acknowledge that there's been uh, a injustice that happened, but the conversation really don't go beyond that. Ladies and gentlemen, please tell me what you think.
I'm glad Mitch McConnell did this because like I said, all he did was bring out the fact that white people really were the primary slave owners in this country. Yeah, there were black, but those black slave owners never ever outnumbered the white. So thank you, Mitch McConnell for bringing this up. That way these lessons can still be taught about slavery. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.